with Israeli News Live. It was Monday, just earlier today, that uh, John Kerry met with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Rome. Seems to be that there's been some information circulating about the meeting that Kerry made some assurances to, to Prime Minister Netanyahu that the United States would veto any Palestinian bid for statehood at the United Nations Security Council, a bid that has gained tremendous uh, support and success from the European Union. But then again, we also know that that can only be for a short period of time because the United States is also under the great pressure to go along with the European Union and also bid for a Palestinian state could even be that the United States, in order to be able to play its cards to look like Israel's ally, may just abstain from the vote altogether and let Israel collapse. And yet, in another bit of news, the United States has actually stated that they care more about the relationship with Iran than they do with Israel. Put that on their priority list. Well, Ms. Livni said in Israel National News, it was stated there in an article there about her, that she believes that the United States may very well veto the bill. But as she put it, it will not stop the terrorist activities that will be unleashed on Israel. Well, it seems like that it hasn't stopped them even with the possibility of voting the Palestinian state. And also in other news in Israel, national news, they're speaking about how that it is inevitable that there will be a war in the very near future with Hezbollah out of Lebanon and Israel. Can only imagine when that may take place. An article, though, by Giulio Miotti, a friend of ours who's also been uh, aired here with us here on Israeli News Live. He writes for Israel National News. He wrote an article that came out uh, today on December 15th here at 11.23. It says, uh, the title of the article is Liberate the Temple Mount for Israel's Survival. The article was very interesting. I'd like to just share a little bit with you on here. Gulio actually brings out how that uh, how that the the, the Israelis um, pause. Gulio states here in the article, Arab sp Arab, excuse me, Arab spokesmen, unlike most of their Jewish counterparts, are not ashamed to make the Temple Mount the center of their new war against Israel. He also said Arab spokesmen were so skillful and able to manipulate the history that today the UN, Europe, America, and chattering classes, which have no religion at all, all reinforcing the Arab claim that anyone who died on the Temple Mount were martyr defenders of the holy places, mowed down by savage, unprovoked Israeli settlers. He goes on to, to bring out other points in the article. One thing he says here, but, but Jews are stronger than their leaders. A few weeks ago, I visited Jerusalem and wanted to see the synagogue in Agassi Street, excuse me, Harnoff, where the four rabbis had been killed by Israeli Arabs. In the synagogue of the massacre, I met Rabbi Abraham Nadler, who told me the terrorists targeted us because we, the religious Jews, are the symbol of unity of the country. We must grow and get stronger after the attack. He also wrote in the article about 1967, the Six Days War, after the Arab Legion had placed its batteries on the Temple Mount, but Israel recaptured the holy site. We all know that the electrifying cry of Commander Motagor, the Temple Mount is in our hands. The Temple Mount is in our hands, only to be given back by Moshe Dayan, the general for Israeli ar Israeli's army, army at the time, the IDF forces. Moshe Dayan said he'd give the keys back hoping to bring a, uh, a unified world for a place to pray. But unfortunately, it's not been that at all. In fact, the Jews are not allowed to be up there to pray whatsoever. Something that Yehuda Glick, Rabbi Yehuda Glick, recently liked to lost his life for it. And also another brave uh, defender of the Temple Mount is uh, Minister Phelan, who also has been up on the, on the Temple Mount as an advocate for the right of the Jewish people to pray. Well, we here at Israeli News Live, we go a step further, not just a place to pray. It belongs to Israel, and it should be taken by Israel. The Israeli forces should be the army that is the defender of Israel that God raised up as he raised it up with Joshua. And there should be no negotiations whatsoever. The Temple Mount 
should be taken by Israeli military forces, and it should take down the Dome of the Rock completely, cleanse the land, set up the Sabbath the way God had intended it. Then God will bless his people Israel. I'm Stephen Bendenoon with Israeli News Live. For the rest of the article of, uh, by uh, Guglielmo Mialti, we will actually include a link to this article with a portion of that on our news site, israelinewslive.org, as well as our Facebook page, uh, Israeli News Live at Facebook. Good evening.